your girl kaya if you're new hey i'm kaya i do different content on this channel so subscribe because why not but don't forget to follow me on instagram too my ig will be right here on the screen oh hold on if you see ain't got no nail right here you looking too hard ignore it and this is going to be how to smell and taste good for your men or your girls if you go that way this is just good tips even if you finna somebody finna be there or not this is just good things to know for yourself um your own health down there keeping yourself fresh and clean for you is always top priority like other people come later get you some suppositories the one that i use and the only one that i use is the cookie restore pill insert in vagina to remove odor yeast infection symptoms they don't take away the yeast infection but they help with the symptoms I feel more confident about being sexual feel extra fresh when used after your period treat as an after sex odor um fix i guess i use these for many different reasons me personally after my cycle i just need a cleanse up there so i do pop them in for those times but i think all girls need suppositories like sexually active not sexually active like it's just good to keep it like clean up there clear the little kitty system out use water only the vagina cleans itself of course clean the outside we're not saying don't wash between your legs because your body gonna clean the whole thing no but the under the lips you shouldn't be adding nothing under the lips like keep it as water only and even when you using soap to clean the areas around there down there like be real careful that nothing gets because that can really mess situations up these are the lips you spread them you get water in your hand let it fill up and then you just like rub 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 just keep on rinsing until you don't feel nothing or like you feel like it's like squeaky to me or whatever. That's what I do with water. Um, I have no issues. I had issues when I was younger watching girls' videos talking about use dust sensitive. I don't know what they're dust sensitive in. No. Just make sure nothing's getting under the lips. Water only. Everybody know water only. At this point, everybody should know water only. Just use water only. Like that's all you need down there in the lips. That's all. You shouldn't be having to put soap under the lips. No, nothing like that. I remember when I first found this out my the jj was on a whole nother different level like it was i was loving it i was like yes i should, wish i found this out sooner because whoever the fuck was lying they ass beat. another thing i'll tell girls always 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 baby wipes baby wipes baby wipes when you take a poo baby wipes when you're on your period baby wipes i've started using baby wipes for everything like when i go pee when i boo boo when i'm on my cycle anything like that like baby wipes is for you for me when i'm on my cycle baby wipes just help me feel cleaner like i remember being younger and like using um tissue and it was just like you know tissue always already leaves back like little particles of it like i just feel like this is better like no residue cleans everything real real good it wipes everything up these are it right here i vouch for waxes y'all can say i shave and then no wax like first of all why not it's like five to ten minutes of pain for a ball kitty for a whole month just get a wax, just get a wax, just get a wax, girl. Hair holds older, like I said earlier, hair holds older, and if you're really trying to like smell, taste good, all that good stuff for you, for your man, for your girl, like make sure there's no hair down there to hold older, for real. And it makes your period much, much easier, in my opinion. Periods with hair versus hair, periods without hair, periods without hair win. Plus, shaving for most girls, and most girls that I know, it causes ingrown hairs and stuff like that. I've only had a bump issue with a wax one time. Shaving makes it darker down there. I'm dark skin, so I really don't struggle with that. Like, <laughs> I think my other stuff is really even toned, the same color as my belly and stuff, so um, I never struggle with that. But I know for the lighter, lighter tone girls, like y'all, most of y'all struggle with the it getting dark down there and stuff. And shaving is, if you shave a lot or you shave, period, that's one of probably one of the main reasons that you having issues. Like. You just gotta wax it all off. Like shaving, it's like a bunch of dead skin left over and stuff. Like if y'all really look into it, waxing is where it's at, period. Like 
it's no issues with dead skin being left over and even with the waxing it takes the full hair particle out instead of just taking the top off with shaving you just take the top off and you don't take the full thing of hair out um from the follicle and stuff so i just feel like waxing is where, what you should be doing if you really aiming for a smell free and good taste down there and all that stuff like you got to wax like it just makes makes you first of all more confident to um smell better it's like so i can talk about waxing all day i can talk about waxing all day don't be shy of oh i don't want nobody to see my vagina like girl if you finna let the quan see your vagina at least let him see it when it's bald if you finna let tyrone see your vagina at least let carol see it and wax you up and get you right and most of the waxes i've had are good i only had one bad waxer and she was just doing too much talking first of all like like oh you waited so long it's so, so much hair bitch okay bitch i get that can you shut up okay yeah and i never was her again she had me lit burning while i was walking but y'all need that story like i'm probably making y'all scared <laughs> wax the girl down she gonna be good don't be scared like they not there to judge you they there to get you right so another hidden gem that i don't hear many girls talk about for real maybe a lot of people don't know she what is it the man on he gonna say your life raw unfiltered honey i get this from i got this one from sprouts it's so big this is great for if you're dealing with um razor bumps down there anything like girl get the raw honey um i remember my first time because i was just i don't know if i had waxed at the time or shaved i think i was in my waxing era in my life like waxing time so i don't know what it was but it was i think i think it was the lady that gave me a bad wax and it had caused like razor bumps and stuff like that i don't even know how i got razor bumps because it's a wax but whatever whatever some type of bumps down there and stuff and i remember just like okay there has to be something that can get this gone like a natural remedy because there's always natural remedies for stuff right so i remember searching on google like how to get rid of razor bumps or like what helps razor bumps or anything like that what helps bumps something like that and raw honey popped up and my mama keep keep stuff like that so i was like oh let me go get some of that so i went in i took me a good shower i got out the shower you know kitty bottle or whatever because i just got wax i basically take a little bit and i put it on my JJ and i let it sit for overnight and when i tell you this might sound crazy as hell but i woke up the next day and the bumps like it wasn't like big old boils or nothing like that like they was like bumps or whatever and I woke up the next day and girl, them bitches was gone. I said, okay, and I ain't never, I ain't never letting up. So I got this big ass thing and I always keep me a big one on me. Got it on me. And if you got like real, real bad bumps, like bumps that be like real big and all that stuff, I feel like you should go to one of the waxes that do like bajacials and let them handle that. <sighs> if you're new here, I do TMI sometimes. But that's only because I want all the girls that watch my channels to feel safe and not feel judged. Like, so, yeah. But this, I was young, so y'all ain't gonna give me too much heat, right? But when I was younger, I used I shaved. I started shaving, I, I don't know, whenever hair started growing too much. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I started shaving when I was younger. And I remember, like, I had got this big old bump. Now I was getting, like, bumps, but I had got this big one. And I remember coming to my mama, like, I'm comfortable with my mama, so I came to her pants down like, mama, what? Is this supposed to look like this? She said, ah, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> she said, ah, oh, ah, oh, what you been doing? Is it because you be shaving? Like, what you be doing? I was like, yeah, right. Because I used to like, when I seen hair, like I wasn't thinking, I wasn't, I wasn't um, aware of like the consequences of just dry shave. Sometimes I would dry shave too. I was, when I think I was young, I don't know how old I was, but I feel like I was, in middle school high school so like seven eight nine around that time so yeah so she told me girl it's not supposed to look like it and um yeah so that was my real real i had a real 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 bad bump and i used to always mess with it and stuff and i just feel like i made the situation worse so what i did at this time i didn't know about the honey stuff so what i did to help it i left it alone i just stopped picking at it i stopped doing stuff like that and it eventually like went away kind of itself so the next thing i have to tell you girls is about scrubs i know y'all girls love tree hut and dove like this and stuff but i personally think 
that in order to reap real results like with, with scrubbing right there it's homemade when you really trying to get it like to do what it need to do lemon sugar and oil and that's what really does good like um if you want a sugar scrub you see all the girls with the dove and the tree hut don't worry about it girl because these when you really think about it these scrubs is not as gritty as they need to be to get onto your stuff like it looks so smooth and pretty it looks so smooth and pretty but it's not gonna get your stuff done like you want it done unless you make a homemade one it helps get rid of the dead skin one two it loosens up the hairs before you get a wax so it don't hurt as bad because if you go there with like your jury curl down there it's gonna hurt but when you don't have hair that's when you use this let your kitty breathe why you got a g-string up there every day like if you having problems with smell and odor and you always getting yeast infections and stuff and you always got on some tight ass clothes girl that's why you need to let your kitty breathe and that's why i have cotton underwear i don't do no lacy stuff all the time if i do have lace stuff it's literally for occasion or like sometime like when i'm wearing an outfit when i don't want my panty lines to show or something get you some cotton panties from walmart and call it a day stop trying to wear that, that lacy stuff if he say he love when you wear that lace ask him do he love when you stink because at that point he just wants you to stink because why like me personally, I ain't met no dude that be like, oh, I, I only like you when you wear the lace underwear. Like, girl, wear, wear the underwear you need because all that, that friction down there and that tightness and the can't breathe, your kitty hates you. Like, when you can see the coochie print through your clothes, they're too tight. The next thing for a good smell good I have is the Dr. Bronner's. And I have a Dove. Now, I use the Dr. Bronner's when I want a real, real clean feeling. This is a small bottle, but they do have bigger ones. I'll use the Dove for the scent. This make you feel real, real squeaky, squeaky clean. And what you do is you take it, wash your body like normal, rinse it off, and you gonna feel the difference. So the next things I have are some products. Um, this is urinary tract support. This. They're from Honey Pot. Now I know the girls not supporting them like that no more, but I've had these for a minute, so this is before they changed their recipe. So yeah, if you still want to freak with them, go ahead. But this is the Honey Pot Urinary Track Support Pills. Basically, you take these by mouth, and they look like so. I've seen some videos on TikTok like when a bitch say she drink cranberry juice and it's not 100% cranberry juice. Where do y'all get it at? Because I can't find 100% like i've been to walmart dollar tree dollar no walmart dollar general dollar tree um i haven't went to target so y'all might say it wasn't target but i can't never find just 100 percent like so y'all let me know something because i'm trying to figure out where it's at so because i couldn't find that these are really good um supplements for that and they do just as good like they fix you up no issue i haven't used them in a minute but i want to get back on my good kitty good kitty hygiene like taking stuff like this every now and then so i want to get back on it it says it supports and helps maintain optimal urinary tract health with cl clinically tested ingredients so yeah everything in here gonna have you right no issues there should be no issues um and yeah this is just like i feel like the best way to get the kitty how you want it to smell and taste good it starts from within so that's the main thing like just treat your body good on the inside and the outside should taste just fine and then i just have this um it's just calming lavender rose panty spray like i said i don't use this as often either but it is like this is like if you feeling like if you have any itches or you feeling uncomfortable like you are supposed to spray this in your panties and then put them on and it's supposed to like you know lavender is calming so i guess it calms the vagina down and it helps stuff go good um, this is just something i just want to show y'all because and the last thing I'm gonna leave y'all with is like I said start off it starts off with in so burgers all the time and you wondering like why your kitty smell is, is, is giving like stank you gotta eat better baby like and drink more water that's something I struggle with too I ain't no fake girl I'm gonna say I struggle with drinking a lot of water because and it's not because I just don't drink water like it's just be because I be doing stuff all day like and when I realize I'm thirsty I be like damn I need to drink more water today like if eat your fruit eat your fruit um the whole eat pineapples you taste like pineapples i don't know about that but i know if you're drinking a lot of water eating fruit like ain't nothing wrong ain't nothing wrong with eating pot pie chicken sandwiches and 
burgers and stuff like there's no problem but when it becomes an everyday thing and you don't have no fruits or veggies that's when it's becoming okay like of course you're gonna have some odor down there because you're not doing what you need to do with yourself hold on i forgot this too this is cranberry shoes from walmart for sure walmart i love walmart got them. i literally went in there today and see some but these are just urinary tract health little gummies two cranberry they not good but just eat them they're not good this shoe just got a shrunk to the nasty follow girl on ig it'll be right here right here on the screen oh yeah subscribe because if you're not subscribing like you doing it you doing it wrong like you viewing this whole thing wrong you need to subscribe like then comment any tips or questions and then follow me on ig and i'll see y'all beautiful babies in my next video i let you girl